Yo, what is going on? Um, real quick, I just want to get this out of the way. This is not a video pertaining to video games at all. Okay, it has nothing to do with WoW or anything like that. Um, but I wanted, I want to teach you guys something <clears throat> that I've been learning over the past, <clears throat> um, since fucking September of last year. So it hasn't been quite a year. We're coming up on a year. But I've been learning how to trade within the stock market. Okay? Trade stock market. That's fucking stupid. Shut up. Okay? I'm going to fucking teach you guys something because I'm in the I'm in that stage of um like my profession where I, where I need to teach somebody else. I, I need to just put everything out um, so that, like, sometimes when I was teaching you guys, like, rogue fucking wow shit, like, I was learning stuff with you guys just going over certain scenarios and stuff like that, right? Um, and so I'm, I'm at that point now with trading where I, I need to, I want somebody else to learn what I've learned. Um, without all the fucking fluff. Because if somebody was to make one video, okay? If somebody was to make one fucking video, like I'm going to do right now, from start to end, it would it would it would save so much fucking time, dude. Like when I first started, I started out like studying fucking algebraic equations and college level math right when really i needed to understand the fundamentals first the basics okay excuse me so i i i was fucking here and then i was over here then i was studying this and then i was studying this um and i studied a lot i've been studying every single fucking day since september excluding some weekend days um I'm very thankful for my current job position where I can study um, pretty much all morning, right? Um, and then that's that's when I also trade uh, is also is in the morning as well. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna start from the very fucking beginning, okay? So the way the stock market works, okay, is there's a lot of different um, different um, like forms of stocks, okay? You have stocks, funds, futures, Forex, and so on, right? You even have crypto. Crypto would be like your Bitcoin. Forex, which is what I trade, is a foreign currency. Um, so like your Euro, US, Euro to the US dollar. There's also the GBP to the US dollar, right? The British pound. Um, futures is kind of like the US's economy, um, which is the NASDAQ, s p um you'll hear that if you watch if you watch like the news they talk about the s p and the nasdaq a lot um funds um i don't really know what funds are to be honest with you stocks are like tesla nvidia um all of your your goodies stuff like that right um but i trade euro to the us dollar okay it's an extremely volatile market volatile meaning like um like it can go up a lot and down a lot very quickly. And it's only like a few minor cents, right? If I was to show you today, okay, let me reset this. If I was to show you today, right? Like it started at 1.08109 and it, and it ended the day at one cent higher, 382. But if you buy enough, of it with volume, you can see that you can see that change um, in price um, and, and return. Um, so when you're buying the stock market or buying into it, you have and uh, maybe, maybe some people didn't know this or I, I didn't know this when I started, but you have the option to go short or go long. Okay, long means that you're buying into the market and you hope that it goes up. Okay. Or you can short the market, which means that you're banking on the market going down. And I'll show you an example. If I was to go long in this position here, okay, 
I would make money this entire move up, okay? I would make money that entire time. You can also go short. Let's say I wanted to go short here, okay? I would make money down on the down movement of this entire move, okay? You can make money doing both. Um, the red signifies if I wanted, let's say I wanted to go short here and price came all the way up like here, I would be taken out of my trade, which is a stop loss, okay? It's, it's just a preventative maintenance, or not maintenance, but preventative uh, fundamental thing where you don't lose as much money um, as uh, you can, okay? Um, for an example, okay, when I first started trading, okay, I, I was trading this dorky ass way, watching the news and stuff, and um, I was paper trading. Paper trading, I just, I, I drew a thousand dollars onto my notebook, and I said, okay, cool, I'm gonna buy Nvidia here. Okay, it went up a few bucks. Okay, I'm getting out. I'm gonna buy in here. Went up a few bucks, I'm getting out, you know? And that's what paper trading was. And one of my last trades, and I still remember it, it was like the first fucking week of studying stocks, was I bought into this pharmaceutical company, which I've gotten fucked by twice. It went down and I was like, ah, oh, fuck yeah, dude, big money. I'm gonna buy the dip, you know? Um, no, well the dip kept fucking going and it's still like occasionally I check it even though I don't really care about it anymore because it's just paper It still hasn't fucking come back um, So if I would have had a stop loss, right? So when that dip when the price was going down I would have gotten cut out and then I would have retained all of my all of what I had um, So yeah, that's that's going long going short and um stop loss and the the adverse is take profit right so if if price was to come all the way up here my take profit would be this margin risk to reward ratio one i, I have the chance to lose one or gain one right so let's say i threw 100 bucks in i have a chance of losing 100 or gaining 100 okay but when you're risking trades and everybody will talk to you or any any youtube video you talk to like what's the what's the golden risk to reward ratio? Okay, everybody, including myself, well, most people, will say either one percent or two percent. Okay, and I have this rule when it comes to trading. If I start with a hundred dollars, right, I'm risking one percent. Okay, which would only be a one dollar, but just an example. Okay, I'm only risking one percent to percent if I'm above $100. So if I'm at $100 or below, you're risking 1%. If you're above, like let's say let's say you start making profit, I would risk 2%. Excuse me. So the reason being, I mean, well, why don't you fucking risk all of it? Okay? Well, that's what people call full porting. Okay? Full port is literally just gambling, okay? Well, isn't trading gambling? No, shut the fuck up, quit talking, okay? Full porting is where, I would say I wanna go short, and I just put fucking everything into it. I would double my account size, okay? But the adverse is, I have a chance of full porting and losing everything, okay? If that's the style that you choose to trade with, go right ahead, okay? But that's not what I do, okay? I'm not even saying the way that I trade is the only way to trade, um, but it is what works for me, okay? Um, this past week, I passed a prop firm account. Um, well, today I passed, actually, and I, I didn't lose a single trade over two weeks, okay? I, I took five trading days. I, I took five trades and I passed my eight, it was a 8% target goal profit and I took five trades. Um, yeah, super fucking easy, super easy, okay? Um, so what you're looking at is a chart of candlesticks, okay? This is a, a candle chart, you can see right here, candles, okay? Let's go to a different market. Let's go to, let's just go to fucking Tesla, okay? Everybody knows what Tesla is, okay? So 
essentially, uh, let me back step. So these are time frames up here, and you can type it in as well. Five minutes, e enter, right? Each candlestick represents five minutes, okay? So this candlestick was at 1250. So for five minutes, this one candlestick represents price. And then at 1255, it swaps over to this one, okay? And you can see they're, they're all in sync. So it opened here, went up and closed. Came over, opened, came all the way up, closed. Opened, right? Because you can see in the top left, right? You can see up here, open, you have your high, you have your low and you have your close. Let me, let me show you the inverses real quick. So if I was to give you a red one, okay, with, the, this is called a wick, okay? This is also called a wick, okay? Your, if it's red, okay, price opened here, okay? This is the high, because that's how high price got for this five minute time frame, okay? Price then came down, all the way down to here and created a low. And then this is your close, okay? And that's how a candle works on the downside. For an upside, it is the exact opposite, okay? So let's say your candle goes all the way up, okay? You have green wick, green wick, okay? It is the opposite for these two, okay? So here would, so if price came down for the five minutes and this was your close, it would jump to the next time frame and it would start right here. So then this would be your open, price came down, this would be your low, price shot all the way up. This would be your close, because this is where the body is, and then this is the high, okay? That's how you read candles. Okay, so you can literally just see it. So price came up here, open. Let me fucking blow this shit up. Give me one second. Okay, so price opened here, okay? Came all the way down to here. You can see that red line, okay? Came all the way down to here, came back up, closed. Next candle. It opened here, came all the way down, very small wick down, closed. Opened here, went up a little bit during this five minute time frame, okay? Closed. If I was to show you what this looked like, um, let's go here to here, okay? Let's go down to the one minute time frame, okay? Let's see, where are we? So you can see, I, I only put a fucking candle in between the two lines, right? But you can see these all represent the minutes. So let's see, there's uh, 56. And then this is, uh, what is this, noon? And it kept going, right? This should represent five minutes, right? But my, my lines, it, it kind of depends on where they opened up at. But this, that one candle is this, in, this entire move that I was just showing you here. Right there, it's that one candle all right there, okay? It's, all, it's probably like half of this, plus half of this, plus this whole one, right? But just think of it as this full candle has all that information, right? So it came down, this is our open, or this is our close, excuse me. This is our open, okay, let me delete this. This is our open, and you can see that it went all the way down to here, but then it came all the way back up to here, and then came back down and closed. And you can kind of just see it, right? Just real quick, so it's open, close, 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 right? You kind of just follow in the pattern. And then the wicks just show you the highs and the lows, okay? So I'm going, so that, that's how to read a candlestick chart, okay? I'm going to teach you my method of trading that has allowed me to pass my prop firm challenge, okay? To explain what a prop firm is, okay? If you watch any trading videos or anything like that, um, any um, podcasts for trading or anything like that, they will talk about a prop firm, they will, okay? 
And what it is, is let's say, fuck, how do I do this? Nope, 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 nope. Let's say this is me, okay? This is me, okay? This is prop firm, PF, okay? PF, prop firm, is like, hey, for a thousand bucks, okay, we will give you a $100,000 account to trade with, okay? You're like, fuck yeah, dude. Here, take my money, okay? So then they give you a $100,000 simulated trading account, okay? Simulated. It's essentially a demo. This $100,000 isn't real, okay? So let's just keep going. I'll, I'll get back to that. So this $100,000 isn't real, okay? So then you take your $100,000, okay? And you look at the prop firm rules, okay? Rules are you, and there's like a one-step challenge and a two-step challenges. I do the one step, so that's what I'll talk about. You have one chance, okay? to grow your account 8% with your $100,000, okay? You have an unlimited time frame. You can take as long as you need to grow your account 8%, okay? So you take this 8% and you all you have to do is grow at 8% of the 100,000, okay? Demo, so it's not even real, it's not, it's not real money, okay? But if you go negative 5%, Okay, that's where they're like, okay, you fucking suck. I'm keeping your thousand bucks. I'll see you later. Okay, that's where prop firms make their money is people fucking suck at trading. Okay, and it's more so mentally, but I'll get to that. So then let's say we reached the 8% and we didn't and we didn't get stopped out negative 5%. Okay, so let's say we're plus 8%. Then the prop firm is like, cool, here's another $100,000 account, okay? And now, this is where you would be considered a funded trader. I am now funded $100,000, okay? And whatever I make with this account, so let's say I grow this account 8%, okay? So let's just add an eight up there. I can then withdraw this $8,000 here, okay? that Do you think I have a fucking $100,000 just sitting around that I can throw into the stock market? No. Nope. I know you guys think of me as some big fucking, like, rich streamer and shit, okay? And big YouTube star with, with the fucking Supras and the GTRs, okay? But I don't have $100,000 just sitting around, okay? But... This is a way that you could get the capital to get to $100,000, right? Because 8%, I'm hitting fucking um, an 800 or an 8,000% or excuse me, $8,000 withdrawal, okay? Um, I hit this in two weeks, today. Today, two weeks uh, before. You get what I'm saying, okay? So then I would be able to withdraw $8,000 in two weeks. It's pretty fucking good. That's pretty fucking good. Okay. Let's say I had a fucking 200k account. Okay. There are people on on TikTok and social media, right, where they just pass like a, a bunch of 100k accounts, and then they have them all synced together where they have a fucking one mil account, right? So then they're getting fucking ten to twenty thousand dollar payouts um, every week, right? Insane amount of profits. Okay. But the biggest thing, if you go negative five percent you lose your thousand bucks that you first invested, okay? That is how a prop firm works, okay? So I use prop firms. I passed my uh, my uh, challenge, my one-step challenge, and I will be receiving, well, so now I'm here. So now I'm at that, that flat balance, right? So whatever I end up making on my account, I'll be able to withdraw and receive as a payment, okay? So that is how a prop firm works. So that's how you can receive capital when it comes, excuse me, 
That is how you can receive capital when it comes to trading. Okay, it's just simulated money. But if you're good enough, you can see the real return later. Okay, so I'm going to break it down. Fuck, why do I keep doing this? I'm going to just give you guys my trade entry. Okay, and then I'm going to break everything down and then we'll go over we'll go over it again and we'll go over my live trades um, that I took today. Okay, so when I'm trading, let's say this is the market and I'll show you guys over here. Okay. There's like three or four different things I look for and they're called confluences. Confluences is essentially um, like, uh, like small stepping stones to um, a, a better guess, okay? It's like if you're fucking playing blackjack and or poker and fucking dude holds or what. I, I've never played poker, by the way, this is a bad example, but he fucking plays a certain a certain card and you're like ah yeah fuck yeah i have better cards because he played that card right i don't fucking know okay um another example would be like uh weatherman okay let's say weatherman's analyzing the weather and certain criterias are being met to increase his chance of being correct that it's going to rain for instance okay that's what a confluence is to me okay so I have certain confluences in the market that when they are met, it, it increases my percent of winning the trade and being more confident in my entry, everything, okay? So let's say this is the market here. Let's get rid of it, it looks like shit. Let's say this is the market here, okay? And each high that you see is called not each of them it kind of depends and you'll you'll i'll show you but they give out liquidity levels okay liquidity levels when you're looking into the market is kind of like okay so there was big action moving down okay but maybe not all orders got filled okay what drove this market down market makers the big dudes that have fucking billions of dollars millions of dollars that are able to throw into the market okay but they can only do it at certain levels okay this is one of them so you have a liquidity level liquidity okay price comes up into this range okay and we got some fucking eager boys ape strong okay they're like yeah we're gonna fucking dump this stock Price comes into this range and then goes back out, okay? That is how a liquidity level works. The same thing for the inverse, okay? The inverse would be market is going up like so. This could be your liquidity level here. Market makers are sitting right here like, yo, I need the fucking price to come back down. Oh shit, it's here. Hey, buddy, put in 50 milli, will it? Will ya? Boom, and it goes back up. Okay. There are, to me, to me, there are smaller liquidity levels, maybe like this one, where it's like, eh, and maybe you'll see like a little bit of something, right? Or let's say that you have a fucking two bottoms that are at the same exact level, okay? I like to think of that as more weight to push the market back up. So then when price comes down, it fucking really starts to rip, okay? And I'll, and I'll show you guys that uh, here, okay? Let me remove this shit, okay? Um, so we could easily say that this level here was a uh, liquidity level. Price came here, came back up, okay? Very strong possibly buy orders here, okay? where people want to buy the market and go it back up. So it goes up, comes back down, barely breaks that range, and then the market goes back up, okay? There's another one right here. You can see this little line that I have right here, okay? This is an indicator. It's kind of like a wow add-on, okay? Little indicator here is like, hey, hey, there might be liquidity here. Oh, shit, look. It takes out the liquidity level. You can see it right here, and it fucking goes up. That's crazy, okay? Let's look at the inverse, okay? I've never even looked at Tesla. Um, 
Same thing here. You can barely see it, but there's a blue line with a liquidity level, okay? So it's like, hey, you know, people are wanting to sell right here in this portion. So it comes down, comes back up, breaks this level and pushes the market back down, breaks these liquidity levels over here, relative lows, right? And then it goes back up. It's There's always something. The, the market is always reaching for something, okay? That is liquidity levels, okay? You have your buy side liquidity level and your sell side liquidity level, okay? The next thing, so when price comes into our liquidity level and it shoots back out, there is a thing that will show you, it show, you, show itself to you called a fair value gap, okay? This is another form of a liquidity level, okay? These are your liquidity lines. I don't know what you wanna call them, okay? But then you have a fair value gap, which is your uh, another form of liquidity, okay? What that looks like, let me get rid of this shit. <clears throat> it could look like this. So let's say you have a candle here, okay? Let's say you have a candle here and another candle. A fair value gap always consists of three candles, okay? The range of the fair value gap would be from this low to this high. This range right here, okay? That is your fair value gap. The same could be done for the inverse, okay? You have candle here, okay? Oh, that's really fucking bad. Okay, and then candle here. This range here, from this high to this low, this area here would be your fair value gap, okay? And essentially the idea behind it is, is if price is going down and it's strong enough, okay? And this area here, there is nothing but sell orders for the red and buy orders for the green. There's nothing opposing to it. So essentially, what I like to think of it as is a paintbrush, okay? Let's grab our fucking airbrush. Uh, let's grab our fucking crayon, okay? Price comes back into the range and leaves it even stronger, okay? When you're painting your fucking walls with a brush, okay? When you go up, there's all these small little holes in that paint, okay? So when you go up, you have to come back down before you can go up even more, right? Up, down, up even more, down, down a little less, up even more, right? That's kind of how the fair value gap works. So you're saying it's gonna go strong push down, okay? Price then comes back up, okay? Refills this area here, right? And then strong push down, okay? Same thing for the inverse. Inverse would be Strong push up, strong, oh, strong push up, okay. Price comes down into this range, refills these fucking green open areas and drives back up even more, okay? Because this has potential for more orders to be put into the market. Fair value gaps, okay? And I'll show you some examples. Um, Let's see. Here's one right here, right in front of us, okay? Let me make this shit big. So we have three candles here, one, two, and three, okay? Let's mark out the bottom, the, the high of this candle, the low of this candle, which creates our fair value gap right here. Price goes up really strong after a liquidity sweep, right? Big old liquidity sweep right here, drives up, Creates that fair value gap. Oh shit! You know we left some orders behind. There's a little. There's a few holes in the market. Let's come back down, okay, and shoot back up. All right? Shoots back up. You could place your buy right here and take this move here. Real small, but I'll, I'll show. I'll show you more. Okay. Shoots back up. Crazy. If price was to come all the way through, like it did here, this is fine. The wick is fine. But if the body closes through the fair value gap, I kind of just void it, okay? Uh, get rid of it. Um, I, I 
like let's say it went all the way down here, like ah, okay, fair value gap, dog shit, okay? But if I was to just like get rid of everything on the right of here, I'd be like, oh yeah, dude, fuck yeah, this, this shit is going to the moon, okay? I mean, and it did go up, but I just wanted to show you that. So green fair value gap up after a liquidity sweep, came down, filled our range like crazy, okay? And then shot back up even higher and made a new high, okay? Excuse me, you can also see it here. So this level over here of these three candles, this is our low of this candle. This is our high of this candle. Real strong push down. Price comes up into our range and pushes down even more, okay? We're about to get fucking crazy, okay? So real strong push down, creates fair value gap. Price comes up into our fair value gap and gets pushed down even more. What do we see? Why did the why did the fucking price go back up? Why did price go back up? Let's look to the left. Oh shit. What the fuck is this? What is this? Wow. Another fair value gap. Fucking insane. Okay. So price shot down. What is this over here? Let's mark out this one right here. These three candles. Wow. That's another fair value gap that it tapped into here. Okay. Price came down, tapped into this fair value gap here, shot up into this one, shot back down into this one, and then went up. Okay. Same fucking thing here. These three candles right here. Look. There's another fair value gap. Let me let me get rid of this, some of this shit. So my little apes can see. Fair value gap on the way up. Price came down. It fucking touched it and ripped. Crazy, huh? So that is how a fair value gap works. It's a form of a liquidity level. Okay. It's a gap in the market. It's got holes in the paint. It goes up. Okay. Comes back down. Refills its orders. And keeps going up even more okay um sometimes like this one so these three candles here they all form fair value gaps but like let's say let's say we had let me get rid of this let's say we took this top one right let's say we took this top one and be like okay we're, we're keeping an eye on this one price came up uh, uh, uh boom it closed through it i want to count that one right so i would get rid of this one where's our other one well, our other one is right here. Cool. Oh, it did reverse out of it. Cool. Bye. Okay. That's how a fair value gap works. Price came back down into this other fair value gap. So this, it would cancel out this one. Open up this one. Price came in, shot up. Okay. Made a fair value gap. Came back down, shot up. Okay. Um, this one got closed through, kept going down. Took out a liquidity level, shot back up, okay? There's differences of uh, liquidity of where orders could be placed, buy side or sell side. There's also the liquidity levels that I talked about, okay? There's the fair value gap, okay? So that is the fair value gap, okay? Now, what I wanna look for is a break of structure. A way break of structure works, okay? is if you have your fucking highs, like let's say this is your high, okay? And this is your low right here, okay? This is what you're gonna hear from people calling it higher highs and higher lows. Does higher low make sense? No, Raven, it doesn't. All right, I'll fucking take care of you, don't you worry, okay? This point here is our higher high, okay? Because this was our higher high, higher low, okay? So price came up, made a higher high, a higher high, came down just a little bit, made a new higher low, okay? Came up, broke this structure here, creating a higher high. Why is it a higher high? Because it's fucking higher than this one, okay? So this is a higher low, okay? What would this point be called? So this is our higher low. 
came all the way down, it broke structure. What is this point? Higher low? No, it is a lower low because it's lower than our high. So here, at this point here, okay, this is when people would consider the market is shifted and is going down, okay? So then it goes up a little bit and it keeps going down. What would this point be right here? A higher low. HL, higher low. Keep going, lower low, higher low. Does that make sense? Okay, because we're not breaking these higher highs up here, okay? Then you could say price comes up, okay? This would be our lower low. It breaks this structure over here. What would this point be called? Higher low? No, higher high because it's higher than this high. So now we have a higher high. Okay, what would this point be called? A lower high? Correct. Good fucking shit. Okay, this is what a break of structure would be. So it's coming down. It broke structure to a higher low. It's the change of character. So it's going from high, 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 low, high, high to low, low, high, low, low, low. That's that break of structure right there and the same for the inverse. So you have high, low, 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 high, high, low, high, or high, low. This should be the other way, okay? Should it? No, should be lower high, okay? So that would be the break of structure on the downside. That would be the break of structure on the upside, okay? So we have liquidity level, we have fair value gap, and we have fucking um, break of structure, okay? That's when the structure shifts, okay? So to go over my, my trading plan from the very, very fucking, from the beginning, okay? So market is looking like this, okay? Um, looks like shit. Market is looking like this, okay? You would say this is a liquidity level, and this is a liquidity level, okay? This is all happening between about 9.30 to 11 a.m., okay? The specific strategy, you can look it up. People do it differently, but I, this is what works for me. It is called the silver bullet strategy, okay? And it's because I only trade between a fucking small ass window, between 10 to 11, New York, New York time, okay? Always trade in the New York time zone. It's, it's way better. You can see it right here, New York. I don't live in fucking New York, but always just trade in New York time because why? Well, that's where the fucking market is, okay? So we have a liquidity level down here, a liquidity level up here. Between about 9.30, I give or take, to 11, I'm waiting on the five minute time frame, I'm waiting for price to hit either this level here or this level here. Let's say price comes down and takes out this liquidity level here. So we have buy orders that are gonna drive the market up, okay? I then would go to the one minute time frame, look for price to go up, create the fair value gap, price to come into my fair value gap range, and then go up even higher, breaking structure here. Then I would buy, right? I would buy the market here. So I put my little stop loss, my little take profit, and then I would make nothing but profit. <clears throat> Same thing for the inverse. I'm on the five minute time frame. price comes up to here, shoots down, fair value gap, Price comes into my fair value gap, shoots down even more. I would sell here, right? And make profit on the way down, okay? Now I'm gonna show you examples of me doing it today that allowed me to pass my prop firm, okay? So 
I know it looks a little confusing. I don't know, I'm going to show you why. Okay. So let's look. What is this? 11. Let's look. Here's 10. So price came down and took out this liquidity level here. This, this candle here. Price came down and took it out. Okay. I'm then going to the one minute time frame. Okay. Oh, oh shit. I'm then going to the one minute time frame. Price came through, took it out. Okay. All I'm looking for is a fair value gap up. So price came up a little bit, came back down, came back up, creating a fair value gap here. Okay. Fair value gap here. Then price came into my range. And then I bought, you can't see it. I bought like right here where it broke this structure here. And then it, I mean, I can show you right now. It did nothing but just fucking go up. Fuck. It did nothing but just go up. Okay. Um, these small little arrows. So when I trade, I do about two to three um, reward um, to my one risk. Um, my first arrow is showing you that I closed out 0.75 of my position. This is all live today, by the way, okay? I made money fucking doing this. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when price comes up to about 0.75, right? If I was to close out 75% of my position and price came all the way back down to the red to my stop loss, I would still make fucking money for the day, okay? Then it came up even more. I closed out even more. Um, these two, you don't really have to bother with them. I made a mistake. But regardless, that 0.75%, that 0.75% it barely fucking went up. I closed out 75% and then I just let it run, okay? You're going to hear a phrase called let your fucking winners run, okay? What I could have done today, if I, so when it broke this, this top arrow, I passed my account, okay? Um, so it auto closed my position. But what I could have done is just let the small position open and then just let it fucking ride, dude. Let it ride, okay? Keep your fucking losses short. Let the winners run, okay? Let's look at another one. Let's see, where are we? Here's another one of me going short. Let's look at the five minute, okay? Um, let me reset this. Okay. What the hell? I can't fucking see. Okay, price came up, okay? Um, I think it took out a liquidity level. Yeah, uh, where is it? Maybe some liquidity levels here. How did I how did I get this trade actually? Yeah. Took out some liquidity levels here. Yeah, that's what happened. I remember now. It took out this liquidity level and just kept going up. Um, it took it out, it took this one out all the way over here, okay? And it just kept going up, okay? I was already on the one minute time frame and I was looking for my downside potential. So let's go to the one minute. Let's go back, go back, go back, go back. Here we are. Okay. Price came down, creating a fair value gap here. Okay. Creating a fair value gap here. It closed through it. So I was like, okay, cool. Go next. There's also a fair value gap here. Price came into it broke structure here, then I would buy here, like this. Buy here, price kept going like that, okay? I think I ended up buying here though, um, and then I just, and I let it just fucking ride. I took off 0.75% of my lot here, because if it hit, goes up and hits my, or my stop loss, I don't lose anything at all. I literally gain fucking money if I go, if I lose from this point on, okay? But I didn't. I'm a fucking genius. 
price came up into my fair, fair value gap even more, kept getting pushed down, kept getting pushed down. And finally, it just fucking just, it, it just kept going down, okay? And you can see that here. If I can fucking scroll up. God damn, I hit my mouse. I just kept going down to about this level here. Let's see what this level is over here, dude. My mouse, like I'm literally scroll wheeling in, okay? And it's not fucking working. I need a new mouse. Let's see. I know you guys probably can't see it. Very small fair value up here. Small fair value up here. Doesn't look like they hit them just yet. Um, let's go to the five minute time frame. Let's see. Yeah, so you can hit different fair value gaps, right? Big, big five minute fair value gap here. Hit it perfectly. Just kept going up, okay? Um, this was my trade on the third. Let's look at another trade. This trade, I wanted to go short, okay? I took out 0.75% of my trade here. It came all the way up. It hit my stop loss. Guess what? I still made fucking money, okay? These are just examples of the trades that I took that passed my prop firm account, okay? Let me just remove all this shit now. These are Those were the examples that allowed me to pass my prop firm account, okay? Now, um, mm, Tuesday, I'll get my new account, and then whatever I make on there, I'm able to make money, okay? So all it is is five minute time frame before 10, wait for a liquidity sweep, price comes down, starts shooting up, creates that fair value gap, price then comes into that fair value gap, shoots back up, you would want to enter around that fair value gap range, going long, looking for other liquidity levels that could cause reversals, okay? When you're setting your take profit, look to the left and figure out where was where is price trying to reach, okay? You look, there's a big fucking peak. Wow. That is a liquidity level. So if it hits this, it's probably going to go down, okay? Same thing with your uh, stop loss. Usually my stop loss is uh, either on the liquidity level that I took out or the bottom side of my fair value gap, right? Because if price comes through my fair value gap, it's probably, remember I said, it's probably getting fucking negated and it's probably just gonna keep going the direction that it, it closed through my fair value gap. Sometimes it can, it can go back up the other way, but my theory is based off of fair value gap, fills the range, keeps going up or down or whatever, okay? Um, that is my entire trading strategy from fucking start to end, explaining how prop firms work because nobody else is gonna fucking tell you, okay? Um, this is how candles work. This is on trading view, okay? I trade Euro USD. that's the only thing that I trade. Some other people, they trade other shit, I don't care. People trade different ways, they fucking trade because their fucking balls tingle, I don't care, okay? I have a 65% win rate, literally better than my fucking League of Legends win rate, okay? Um, and, and it works for me. I pass my prop from account challenge. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll literally show you. I won't, but just believe me, I, pro I, I pass it. You know what, where's my phone? I don't know where my phone's at, but I passed it today, dude. I'm pretty fucking happy and that's why I'm making this video, okay? If you guys have any questions, let me know, okay? Because not only am I, I'm not only in the part where I have to, I want to teach somebody else, but I also need to like start journaling my trades, journaling my trades. I'm not gonna fucking write shit down, dude. I'm not some boomer, old time sake, okay? I'm all about fucking new tech. So I'm, I'm gonna make more videos sharing trades that I took during the day, okay? Um, and my end goal, okay, my end goal is I would love to obviously quit my job, which is a long ways out. I would quit my job, stay at home, and I would stream video games, right? Stream WoW, stream League of Legends, DayZ. I would stream video games, and then 9.30 comes around. I'm like, okay, you dumb fucks that are watching me right now. Let's open our charts, okay? And then I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, okay, boys, 
perfect level execution here. Set your stop loss here. Um, we're gonna go long, okay? And everybody in the fucking stream is watching me and we all take the same position and we all make the same amount of money, dude. Not the same amount of money, but we all make some fucking profit that day, okay? That is my end goal, okay? I would fucking love it to make other people money, man. Well, me money, but you guys can make money with me, okay? And then you'd be like, holy fuck, subs. I just made, I just grabbed my mom's credit card and I fucking went all in. Like, you told me not to, but like, dude, I fucking believed you. And now I just fucking netted 30K, man. Here's fucking $2,000. Like, fuck, dude, you're stupid as fuck. But thanks for the money, man. Thanks for the dono. That's what I would say. And I'd probably start twerking and fucking playing some banger ass music. And we're just all fucking laughing because... We fucking have been on a gigantic loss streak for the past month, okay? I don't know, man. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, we. I just say, boys, let's fucking buy, and it just <laughs> fucking shits itself, okay? Oh, man. Man. Like I said, I haven't even been doing this shit for a year, man. And... You watch some people and they're like, yeah, like I've been fucking studying for like two to three years and I can't fucking figure it out. Okay. It, I want to, I'm so fucking close, right? Past my prop firm today. Now it's just time to make money, dude. It's, it's time. Now I want to teach you guys exactly what I'm doing. Okay. There's, like I said, there's other trading strategies, but who gives a fuck, dude? I'm, I'm laying it out fucking step by step man other people are gonna lay out give you a little bit of crumbs and when it doesn't fucking work then you're gonna buy their discord for a fucking thousand bucks and you're still not gonna realize how it works okay i just want to fucking help you guys and if i can help others that'd be fucking great because you guys in turn would make my dreams come true of i want to be able to stream full time and then we just fucking hit a quick trade for the day and we're Gucci. Okay. And we're all fucking driving around on our super is at my fucking meet and greet. Okay. All right. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Okay. Sorry I had to bring out paint again. God, I fucking love paint. Okay. All right. And I hope you guys have a good night. Okay. And uh, I will probably post something sometime next week to showcase some trades that I took. Okay. Hope you guys have a good night. I will talk to you later. Peace.